Can the advanced move feature in Lumion 12 be used to create a clip of a flying plane? Of course! Let me show you how. Back when Lumion 12 launched, we showed you the basics of the revamped animation features that were added to the user interface. Let's take things one step further this time. We've opened up the desert template and we're going to add a bit of action to it by animating two objects using the advanced move effect. The first one will be a plane that is flying and is going to land somewhere behind the camera. We'll make it cross the screen from the top left corner, make a turn, and then slowly head to our position. I don't know about you, but I like to work with precise points in space. Let's place the plane here and give it a bit of a makeover. Then we'll use the type in feature to place it somewhere high in the sky. Let's also make it face the right direction. In movie mode, you can find the advanced move effect in the animation tab. By clicking the edit button, a new interface will appear with all the options you need. This area allows you to play your animation, navigate between keyframes or create them, and of course, manipulate your objects. The timeline is also used for navigation and to preview your animation. After selecting the plane, we can add a keyframe by clicking the Add Keyframe button. Right now, what we know is that we want to make the plane fly through our video and past the camera. Here's a handy trick you are not bound to the length of your clip to create your animation. By turning off the auto toggle, you can set the length of your advanced move manually. For us, the clip is 17 seconds long, so 20 seconds will be plenty for a smooth exit of the plane. As mentioned, I like to be precise, so let's round up these numbers on the X, Y, and Z axes and move the plane a bit together with its orientation. 50 degrees should be fine, but to showcase this feature too, you can double click the slider and type in the amount you want. We can make it 51 here. The timeline also allows you to drag the keyframes. Let's use this and move the final position of the airplane to 20 seconds. Because Lumion uses intuitive animation tools, you sometimes need to zoom out a bit to get an idea of the path you want to animate. To better construct the animation of the plane, we need to add some intermediate keyframes that describe a realistic movement. The plane should follow a curved direction. Whenever you have sharp corners though, Lumion will automatically smooth out the movement and conform the object path to an arc. This means we can make three to four corners by typing in the location of the animated plane and the rotation we want for the keyframes. Then Lumion, will make the plane follow that movement in a more natural way. Let's adjust those values, and I'm quickly going to go through the numbers. Keep in mind that there can be a bit of a trial and error situation. The keyframes need to be placed at a moment in time where the speed of the plane feels natural. The best judge of that is your architect's eye. Use it to its maximum potential. A couple more keyframes to finish off the animation, and let's take a look at the result. Wow, that's awesome. Time to kick things up a notch and animate our second object. I have this old cylinder imported into Lumion and we could potentially turn it into a disheveled haystack or a tumbleweed, call it whatever you want. With a bit of creative thinking here, I've assigned the fur material to it and maybe we should make it cross the camera path. While the plane is landing, our hairy weed can crawl through the screen. Jumping back into advanced move, we can use the same trick as we did with the plane. We'll set the start point and the end point of the tumbleweed animation and then split it in small pieces. This way we can have a consistent speed. We can place the weed somewhere close to this tree. So in the same spirit as before, let's type some coordinates. What we know from moving and cartoons is that those things can spin and jump at fairly constant intervals. So why not use advanced move to make that happen? Three to four seconds should be enough for a loop, and every two-thirds of a loop, the object should be at the peak of its jump. Of course, the rotation doesn't have to be perfect, so we can just change the pitch at each of the high keyframes to 90 degrees.
Come on, that's pretty cool, right? A little trick for you. If you click the auto toggle again, then Lumion will remember that there are some keyframes past the length of the advanced move timeline that is shown. I think we should take a look at this clip. This could not have ended up any better. I'm making some quick adjustments to the depth of field effect and a few small other things for a more cinematic approach. It's time to render. And no Lumion tutorial is complete without a bit of eye candy at the end. Not too shabby. Hey, if you dig on these more advanced tutorials, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And while you are patiently waiting for the next video release from us, check out this tutorial on animations. It's full of tips and tricks that are sure to accelerate your visualization workflow. I'll see you in there.